Sasha, and it's a great privilege for me to be with you today for this very special occasion, and that is the 2021 announcement of the recipient of the Gorsline Scholarship for Young Racers. It's a program very close to my heart. Before we chat a little bit with its patron and with this year's honoree, let me tell you a little bit about the scholarship. Of course, John Gorsline himself is a very, very familiar face at Paddock's at all the great racing events around the world. Back in 1966, he founded and has run since the Gorsline Company, providing insurance programs for the high-risk business that is motorsports. In the early 90s, they came up with the idea to help provide the resources that every young aspiring racing driver needs, and thus was born the Gorsline Scholarship. I want to dwell for a moment on the list of honorees over the years. It has not been awarded every year, but most years since the very first honoree in 1994, Brian Herta. And what you see when you look down the list of previous recipients is what I think is called proof of concept. The young drivers that were selected for the Gores Line Scholarship went on to great things. If you will permit me, I'll go to a list. I mentioned Brian Herta. NASCAR stars Jerry Nadeau, whose career was cut short by injury, unfortunately. Ricky Stenhouse. Indy stars Buddy Rice, winner of the Indy 500. Two-time IndyCar champion Joseph Newgarden. J.R. Hildebrand. Sports car stars like Butch Leitzinger. America's Porsche factory driver Patrick Long. Colin Brown. Dane Cameron. And the most recent three recipients, all sports car stars, Matthew Brabham, Madison Snow, and Dylan Murray in 2016. Since then, the award went on hiatus for a variety of reasons. Certainly, the pandemic needs no explanation. But now in 2021, there has been a revival of the Gorsline Scholarship, which is in itself an entire package of resources for a young racer, including physical training with Jim Leo and his Pit Fit organization, and training in the mental discipline of motorsport with Dr. Jacques Delaire of Performance Prime. So with no further ado, let's hear from the man himself, John <laughs> Gorsline. Have John, fun. welcome. Thank you, Bob. Happy uh, St. Patrick's Day to you and everyone there. And Hi. I'm very excited <laughs> to uh, talk to you, my friend, and all the others. Uh, I can only tell you that uh, I think you should announce the candidate that's won this year because she's in pretty good company with uh, Danica and uh, Catherine Lake. Well, thank you for correcting me on that, John. I meant to mention the two previous female winners of the award, Danica Patrick in 2002 and Catherine Leg in 2006. But before we meet this year's winner, and you kind of let the cat out of the bag there, but I'll let you get away with it. Tell me a little bit about how the award came about, John. We saw over the last 50 years in the business of motorsport, young drivers not able to get the benefit of the founder of uh, PitFit, Jim Leo, who does an outstanding draw job. He actually trains uh, Scott Dixon, who does uh, marathons, etc., and Jacques Delaire uh, from Canada originally, now in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's got the mental aspects of the game, which was designed around Ayrton Senna and Nance, um, Nigel Mansell. So it's a fabulous program to help up-and-coming drivers that have the fire in the belly and that want to really be a champion. Well, before we meet this year's uh, recipient, tell me a little about how difficult it was to choose this year's winner of the scholarship. That's a very interesting question. It was almost impossible because we go to a bunch of friends in the paddock. Who's the recipient this year? Who do you recommend? And there were a couple of outstanding candidates. As a matter of fact, we've asked one of them to stand by to come back next year because they are so outstanding. So it's very difficult, but it's based on need. It's based on passion. It's based on wanting to win. The award charter basically says they're looking for demonstrated exceptional ability and something I find interesting, which is a professional respect for motorsports. What does that mean to you? Everything. 
My passion is motorsports, and the people in it are what makes it so wonderful because they have the passion as well to be here. They're not here for the money, the fame. They're here because they love racing. Well said. Well, how about you do the honors, John, and introduce the 2021 winner of the Gores Line Scholarship. Well, it's a great honor for me today on St. Patrick's Day to introduce Courtney Crone, who is an outstanding young racer and obviously a future champion. She's raced motorcycles. She's raced uh, go-karts. She's raced everything since the age of four. And she'll be competing this year in the IMSA class. And uh, I don't think we need to say much more about her. That not only is she a great driver, but she's a beautiful gal. And with that, we welcome Courtney Crone. Courtney, congratulations on the Gores Line Scholarship for 2021. How's it feel? You know, this is uh, this has been such an honor to just be a part of John and his entire um, group with the Gores Line Scholarship. And really, all I can say is to John and the entire Gores Line company, uh, I would just like to express my deep gratitude to John and everyone at Gores Line Company for the nomination of this scholarship. It's just been such an honor. And to see my name against the likes of uh, the past recipients is just a true honor to be a part of. And, and, you know, as you guys were just explaining the passion for this sport, it just has run deep all these years in, in my life. And, you know, my dad starting me in racing and, and just being around racing my entire life and getting to know John and people like Bob and, and just everyone uh, that has been, you know, helping me grow these last few years has been quite incredible and uh, very, uh, very humbling. Well, let's tell the world a little bit about you. You've just turned 20 years of age. You've been racing since you were four years old, and you've already touched lots of different competition vehicles. You've raced bikes, quarter midgets. You've raced on dirt and ovals. You've come to road racing. You're racing this weekend at Sebring in the uh, Prototype Challenge. Uh, what is it about that kind of diversity that appeals to you so much? Yeah, I think uh, the, the diversity comes from not really having a, a big budget for a plan. So um, I really got into to anything I could possibly get into, especially growing up. Um, you know, my dad, he used to race uh, back in the 70s, Formula Ford. Um, so, you know, from the time that I was two years old, he immediately put me on a motorcycle and at two years, two months, I was riding my motorcycle around the uh, elementary school down the road in the in the parking lot with no training wheels. And uh, I think from there, it just grew, um, getting a quarter midget for Christmas. And then from there, just racing speedway motorcycles. And uh, um, my a big majority of my background is dirt, midgets, and sprint cars, a lot of oval stuff. And, and then the last few years, I kind of really define my goal of where I want to be, which is road racing. And so um, just being able to, to get into a lot of different forms of formula cars. And now this year transitioning to the IMSA prototype challenge series has just been, it's been very humbling and just super, a lot of fun to be a part of all these different types of motorsports and just get to know the variety of racing, not only the people, but just the way of racing and stuff. And I think it's really been able to def define my skills in in uh, in the motorsports paddock. Starting at such a young age, I mean, motorsports. Let's face it, can be a, a fairly lonely passion for a, a young kid in school. Your friends probably don't get involved. They may not even ask you about what it is you were doing last weekend when you weren't around. How did you manage to keep your passion alive during all those formative years, fifteen or sixteen in all now? Yeah, I think I think it just comes from just deep down inside I knew this is what I wanted to do. It's always been my passion and nothing else has ever really mattered to me other than getting to be at the track whether it's just hanging out with my dad or it's racing or just going to go watch a race. Um I love all forms of racing honestly. And so just being able to be in the pits or in the grandstands watching has always been um been a big part of my life and you know going through school um it was it was actually pretty fun because 
I got to miss a lot of school and focus on racing. And, but at the same time, I was able to graduate with honors. So it was able to make me, you know, be able to do two things at once and try and do them both really well. So it was able to, I think, really help mature my mind and stuff like that um, to really focus on racing, but yet be able to do kind of something else at the same time. But now it's great because now I can just focus on racing since I'm out of school. <laughs> John, you're applauding. You're obviously very proud of your selection for this year's scholarship. Absolutely. She's the best. We'll see great things from her. Uh, Courtney, you follow in some pretty significant tire tracks, if you will, in previous honorees, Danica Patrick and Catherine Lake. Does that apply any extra pressure to you? What do you see going forward? Yeah, no pressure at all. No, <laughs> but um, honestly, I, I'm just going to keep doing what I do best and what I know how to do. Um, I think going forward with the help of John's scholarship and getting to use Pit Fit and Jacques Delaire, I think uh, it will really put me on a right track to keep going strongly for the next few years. Um, but I'm just going to keep keep doing what I do best, which is, is racing and, and just stay on track with that. And just, you know, no added pressure, but I have a lot to live up to. So thank you, John. <laughs> Where do you see your career going from here? What's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal has always been IndyCar and the Indy 500. Uh, that will always be my main goal. But really, I think in these last few years, my eyes opening up to IMSA has been really eye-opening for me. So I hope to keep some legs in IMSA as well. But uh, my big goal will always be the Indy 500. So as long as I stay within those two paddocks, I'll be very happy. You know, former scholarship winner Brian Sellers once commented that perhaps the biggest benefit of the Gorsline scholarship is John Gorsline himself because he knows absolutely everybody and you can walk through the paddock and meet, you know, everyone right up to including the Roger Penske's of the world. Um, are you looking forward to that element of the program? I really am. Um, getting to know John over these last few years has been a huge help to me and now getting to be a part of this scholarship program, I think will really implement him and his abilities. And hopefully we can, I can grow for sure from just using John and his connections and, and using pit fit and Jacques and um, putting that, those strategies to my advantage, I'm sure will help a lot. Well, you certainly are a worthy honoree with the Gores Line Scholarship. John, any final words for Courtney? I just think you did a fabulous job, my friend Bob, and I think uh, Courtney has done really well in everything she said, and I wish her the best of luck and everyone to stay safe and healthy. Couldn't have said it better myself. We all look forward to seeing each other again in the paddock, and hopefully we'll be able to do that very soon. So thanks to John, to the program. Congratulations again, Courtney. 